I'm scared. Like, I'm like, my heart is beating low key. Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. I just know you guys read the title of this video and ran to click this. Like, I just, I just, I just know you're like, fuck. Because girl, I would feel the same way. Like, who wouldn't want to know what, what's the tea, what's going on, the deeds, the story. This is not no clickbait, no nothing. I'm actually going to be talking to you guys and giving you guys a story time on the tea by the way i have my clips on because i'm actually gonna be getting ready as i talk to you guys so i'm just doing my makeup just so it won't be like boring i remember when i did a story time like this a few years ago i was actually in my other room sitting down giving the story time grab your popcorn grab your hot cheetos grab whatever you're gonna munch on girl and sit your ass down with me because we're about to spill some tea Honestly, I'm gonna just be so real with you guys and tell you guys everything. If you want to sit down and do your makeup with me, sit down and do your makeup. As long as you're hearing the story, that's all that matters. Now, before I do get started, I do want to give a huge, huge, huge disclaimer. The girls involved in this entire thing are not going to be named. They're not going to be shown. None of that. And I want to make it clear just so people won't be like, why are you doing this? Da, 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 da. It's just a story time. It's something that happened to me. It's my business. And in a way, I'm kind of just exposing myself. So also, I am not associated with those girls whatsoever. Like not a part of my life there hasn't been any conflict after that like literally that happened and everyone went their own ways and of course i'm pretty sure there's gonna be some people like okay well like if it's already over with like why bring it up da -da 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 -da. because girl it's a story time everyone has wanted to hear about it and i've never actually sat down on my channel and talked about it i talked about it a little bit on the podcast with nat and jake but I didn't go into that many, like, details just because, I don't know, I just didn't. But once again, shit happens. It's the past. It is what it is. Like, I can't go back and undo what I did. So, with that being said, let's jump into this story time, bitch, because I got some stuff to say. Oh, my God, I'm, like, excited. Oh, my God, that's bad, huh? I sound, like, all problematic. It's not even being problematic. Like, it's just like, you know when you think of stuff that already happened and it just, like, makes your blood boil all over again? Yeah, that's how it feels like. I've been obsessed with these hand sanitizers. Oh, my God, they smell so good. Like, damn. Also, I do want to say I have anxiety, so if I start stuttering and everything, it's because I'm most likely getting a bit nervous and anxious. And the only reason why is because when I think back at stuff that happened like this, like, it gets my blood, like, boiling again. It all started on a rainy day, February 30th, 2025. All right, buddy, I'm just bullshitting. But in all seriousness, uh, I don't know what month it was. I'll probably look back at the dates, but I'm pretty sure it was in September. If not September, October. Something like that. I'm not really too sure on the date. Keep in mind, I have never gotten into anything at my high school. You guys have seen my story time when I was in middle school when I got in a fight, but I was all mocosa and shit, so whatever. Anyways, at this high school, I honestly didn't get into anything just because I was already, like, grown, you know, compared to middle school. So I never really thought of, like, oh my god, like, I want to fight this girl, this girl. Like, I was never like that anymore once I entered high school. Because in middle school, I was annoying and rowdy as f I'm like, I'm still rowdy off the bus, boss, but not too much. Okay, I need to shut the f and just say the story, huh? Okay. So, back to what I was saying. Back to business. Back to the bag. My bad, sweet. R.I.P. No, so actually, running it back to the actual day, it was the morning. I don't know if it was, like, before break or before lunch. I think it was before break. It was before break. Once first period was finishing up, I actually door dashed Starbucks because I had been late to school that day. I remember I was late, and I didn't have time to go to Starbucks. And I was like, okay, like... We have break after this. I'm just going to door dash Starbucks. And then once first period is done, it's going to be break. So during break, I'm going to go get my Starbucks. And then I can have my Starbucks for like the rest of the day, you know? Or like for second period. Because, bitch, that shit did not last me all day. I would drink that shit up. So, yeah, first period finishes. And 
obviously when you like order doordash or uber eats or whatever at school they leave it in the front office because they obviously can't come up to you and like leave it in front of your classroom especially because my school is a closed campus so like not everybody could come in so well actually everyone could come in but say when it's a closed campus i don't know that shit's weird i think now they have securities and shit first period finishes off and then i was gonna go to the office to pick up my coffee guys keep in mind every time that i order like starbucks or uber eats or whatever the fuck i order like to school chewy always goes to pick it up with me like he always goes to the front office with me he always like is just with me literally anytime i do something he is always with me and keep this in mind, Chui is the only, like, friend that I had at school at the time, or literally in fucking general, who would always just be in a classroom, like, with the teacher. Like, you know when you hang out with, like, those teachers, you know, you're just, like, chilling, talking to them? That was us. Like, we were not those people that had hell and friends or none of that. Like, that just wasn't us. I don't know why that day I didn't tell Chui that I was gonna go to the office. Like, I just went right after my first period, and then I was just gonna meet him, like, at the classroom where we always hang out. So I got out of first period and then I was walking to the office. And to get to the office, because my classroom I think was downstairs, I had to like either go up some stairs or go up like this one ramp. It, it looks like a hill, but it's like a ramp. So keep in mind that that ramp or whatever the f you want to call it is pretty wide. Like it's wide. Obviously you guys can't really tell the measurements from here, but it's like from here to like more than it's more than this like there's space for more than like three people to go through like okay just keep that in mind right so yeah i was going up the ramp and i was like on this side right to the left and then as i was going up to go to the fucking office i see both of these i'm not gonna say because we're not gonna be rude i see both of the girls walking down as i'm going up i was like okay like we obviously go to the same school. What am I going to do about it? For some of you guys that are new here, keep in mind, both of those girls hate me. I don't hate them. Or listen, in the moment, at that time, I did not hate them. Like, there wasn't a part of me that was like, I hate her, I hate her, I hate her. It was just like a dislike. Like, okay, I don't like your sister and you, like, you're whatever. Like, you're really nothing, girl. You know? It was like that in the moment. I forgot to mention, both of those girls are actually sisters. So, there's the older sister and the younger sister, right? Sorry if this gets a little confusing. Just try and pay as much attention as you can. One of the sisters, which is the older one, which is the tallest one. So, if you're hearing me say tall or something then you know she used to be my friend but my ex-boyfriend that i was with for like five six years cheated on me with her so that should just tell you that wasn't even part of the story like it had nothing to do with it but i'm just giving you guys a rundown on who they are her little sister the short one i never had anything towards her like i don't know to me she just like was a little girl like i don't know like i don't know you like who are you you know like i never really had a conversation with her ever in my life i think yeah like i don't know i don't know the little girl but she's obviously just there because that's like her little sister or whatever i need to give them nicknames because i feel like i'm gonna start blurting out names and we're not gonna do that because nobody is getting their 10 seconds of fame on this side we're gonna call the older sister agatha and then we're gonna call the little sister veneers so agatha and veneers big little all right, now that I give you guys a little rundown on who Agatha and Veneers are, let me get back to the story time. Just pretend you can imagine this. Me going up, Veneers coming down with her sister Agatha. So kind of like passing each other like that. So Veneers was the one that was next to me, not Agatha, right? So back to me going up the ramp or whatever, all happy to get my Starbucks and from the office i see them coming down whatever i already said that like 10 times and i swear something in me was like these are gonna do something or tell me something like i just had a feeling and i don't know why because i'm telling you guys they have never done something like this like they usually like do little faces smirks say things like under their breath but they've never touched me so whatever we're walking and I kid you not, we get close to each other. And dude, there was so much space for all of us to fit. 
And this might sound so, like, scary of me, but I really don't find it scary. I just was not trying to start nothing. I wasn't trying to, like, I wasn't trying to trying to be in shit. Like, literally, I was just trying to mind my business to go to the fucking office to get my fucking coffee. Like, literally, I had no business, like, wanting to say or do anything to those girls. Because, one, that little girl, Veneers... I had nothing against her. Like, girl, just because your sister fucked my boyfriend or ex literally doesn't mean anything to me. Like, I could really care less. Like, that shit so last year. Like, what can I do about it, right? But move forward. I literally didn't fucking care about them. Like, that's how you know I wasn't trying to do anything. Like, I wasn't trying to be problematic. But, sorry, I'm just, I have so much to say. Like, I've been waiting. Because a lot of people get mixed up and i want everyone to know the truth because i know some people have a part of the story and just think it's all over a guy when it's not like that veneers literally shoves me as she's going down the ramp and i'm going up she literally shoves me like not even just a slight like oh like we're walking by each other you know when you're walking by someone and you accidentally like hit them with your shoulder or something but it's like a light tap no this straight up was walking and like full-on like pushed me like first up you're like four or five. Like, don't even play with me right now. So I was like, bro, what the f And in the moment, I was like, bro, what? Like, I kind of froze. And then I was like, what the Because literally, I was walking normal. I don't know if you guys heard what I said before. But I literally tried to avoid them. So I even moved to the side. Like, I moved to the left where there was barely any space. That just shows that they were walking, like, over here. Knowing that they had all that space. They were like all the way over here at first. Could walk straight without bumping into me. But they saw I was going this way. And I don't know what odd reason. What made them want to be near me. Like if you hate me why would you want to be near me. And like I would totally understand. If it was like the older sister that wanted to bump into me or something. Because she didn't like me. Or because of the stuff we had going on. But like what is the little girl doing? Like what the f so when she bumped into me, I was like, what the f No, I'm not going to lie. I don't remember specifically what was said. I just know it was like something around, what the f Like, who do you think you are? Like, don't touch me, this, this, and that. Something like that, right? And they kept walking. And I just remember like the little one that bumped into me, Veneers, she didn't even look back. I don't think she looked back. It was the tall one that looked back and just smiled and said something. I forgot what was said or who said what. But they said some slick shit. More of the story is they ended up walking down. Like they walked off and then I just went to the office. I was like, you know what? Like I'm gonna get my coffee. Like at this point, like what am I even gonna tell them? I get to the office, get my coffee. Tell me why when I open my Starbucks bag or whatever that they dropped off. It was the wrong coffee, bruh. It was like a dark-ass cold brew. Bruh, my girls know that I do not drink dark-ass coffee. My coffee literally looks like leche. So that should just tell you how mad I was again. So yeah, I get my coffee. It's not the coffee that I ordered. I look at the Starbucks cup. And the cup had a whole different name. Like that shit was from Elon Musk or something. But it was most definitely not for me. At this point, I was just more mad at the fact that my DoorDash order was wrong rather than these wins us touching me so i end up grabbing the coffee either way i was like well, I paid for it like might as well take it i grabbed it right when i got my coffee i facetimed chewy because that whole thing happened where the girl pushed me and like shoved me or whatever and i facetimed chewy because i was already mad so then i facetimed him and i was like chewy bro guess what the just happened like um this just bumped into me this this and that and like i was telling him everything so yeah i was just on facetime with chewy mad as that these wins has bumped into me that my order was wrong like a girl i was just having a rough morning as it was right then i ended up walking down to the classroom where me Chui, and my cousins hang out during like break and lunch and shit i walk in there and i'm mad like i'm literally like chewy i swear i want to slap this like i'm so mad and to top it off like they got my starbucks order wrong i really don't know what the was wrong with me that day because typically i get mad right like i i get mad whatever like i talk my shit but that day like i knew what i was gonna do like i did not care it was still break and i was in the classroom with my cousins and i was like hella like mad and i was telling them i was like dude like i'm gonna throw this at her like i don't give a f 
And then my teacher was actually trying to calm me down. She was like, oh, like, violence is not the answer. This, this, and that. Like, you know, typical little pep talk that they give you, like, when you're mad and shit to not get in a fight. Like, girl, obviously I'm mad. I'm not going to hear your advice right now. Like, thank you for being kind, though. Like, you know, like, wanting to stop this nonsense. This March madness. But, girl, I'm mad. So then break was over. And like I said before, after break is second period. And after second period is lunch. And I had culinary in my second period, which I was so happy because I had hella friends in that class. Like, I loved the people that I sat with. So, like, I was like, yeah, like, I'm better. Go talk my shit and tell them everything that just happened. Like, I'm mad. So, yeah, I end up going to second period. And, dude, I already had in my head that I was going to throw that coffee at the girl that bumped into me. Like, I had it in my head already. Like, I'm keeping this coffee all day until I see the girl. Literally. I enter culinary class. whoop de whoop Like, I'm hella mad. I'm even talking to my culinary teacher. I'm like, chef, you're not going to believe what just happened during break. By the way, the teacher's name is Chef. Shout out, Chef. Girl, I fucking miss you. I didn't even see you at graduation. I don't know where you were, but I wanted my hug. I was ranting to her, like, telling her, like, oh, my gosh, Chef. Like, I'm going to embarrass the f*** out of this. Like, why would she do me like that? Like, thinking that it's funny to bump into me. Like, who is she? This, this, and that. Like, she has no reason to do me like that. My classmates were like obviously in the cheesement, all up in the funk, hella hyping me up, telling me like, oh my god, like do it, do it, do it, when are you gonna do it? Like, let me know when you're gonna do it so I can go, so I can see. I was like, y'all, like y'all just wanna see cheesement, huh? Which I get it, cause who wouldn't wanna see some cheesement, right? And the whole time in culinary, I was like, you know what? Once the class is over and it's time to go to lunch, I'm gonna grab the coffee. And if I see the girl, like, if she gets near me, anything, if I see her right when I get out of class, I'm going to throw it at her. Like, that's it. Like, that's that's literally it. No ifs, no buts. Like, I'm throwing it at her. But if I don't see her, then that's a sign that I shouldn't throw it. And I know it sounds childish. It sounds stupid. But honestly, guys, like, I was in the moment. I was not thinking about nothing. I didn't give a like, literally, I did not care if people were going to record me throwing the coffee. I did not care if I was going to get suspended, if I was going to get expelled, if my mom was going to get called, nothing. Like, I was just mad. I was disrespected and I was touched. And no one likes to be disrespected nor touched, especially a younger than you. Like, girl, I should step on you for that. So, yeah, like an hour and however minutes the class is passes by and I'm still mad the entire time like i'm literally mad my blood is boiling i'm just mad like i never let get to me because at the end of the day like what are you doing like go make money that's literally it right but the moment like someone disrespects me and like touches me like it's just like it hits a another level like it's just like bro just don't touch me that that's literally it like you can talk all you want on the internet you can say whatever you want to say but if you like touch me like it's just like ew like stop like what are you doing like what makes you think that shit's okay like you don't want to be touched by a random ass right so don't do it i was mad as class ended and it was lunchtime and i called chewy and i'm like chewy i'm just letting you know that i still have this coffee the ice melted and everything this shit's watered down but if i see her I'm throwing it at her and I'm embarrassing her because she's not going to do that to me, period. That's it. Like, I don't care what you're going to tell me. So don't even try and fucking tell me anything, Chewy. And he was like, no, don't leave your class. Like, I'm going to wait for you. Like, don't leave your class. Don't walk out alone. Like, I'm going to wait for you. Like, I'm going to go outside of your class. I was like, okay, Buki, like, fuck, chill. Didn't I have security? No, but he was literally telling me, he's like, don't leave your class yet. Like, wait for me to get there so we can, like, go to lunch together. And I was like, okay. So he ended up coming. Also, I forgot to mention, it was Chewy with me during lunch and my cousin Anna. So yeah, I'm with them. And they could tell that I was still mad. But I honestly don't think that they thought that I was going to throw the coffee. Like, I kept talking shit. But I feel like they thought, like, okay, yeah, she's mad. But I don't think she's that mad to the point where she's going to throw the coffee at her, you know? Because if you think of it, like, you just don't see me doing that shit, you know? Like... Like, why would I do that during school? Like, just because I'm mad, right? Like, who's going to do that? Girl, me. So whatever, everyone's getting out of class because it's like already lunch and everything. 
and tell me why as we're like i think we were walking to the front of the school i forgot where the fuck we were going because typically during lunch we either hang out in our teacher's classroom or we just like go to my car to chill or we fucking go get food right so we were walking i end up seeing them and i literally tell chewy i'm like they're right there i'm gonna throw coffee like i literally told him and in two point fucking five seconds we were already walking up and they literally did not think anything was gonna happen like i just know they didn't think they even told me after they're like bro like what we didn't even think you were gonna do that because i'm telling you guys i don't get into problems like this like i never let it lead to something physical like i'll just talk shit to a bitch and i'll literally hurt her feelings just by talking my shit because who are you i was only mad at the little one because she's the one that bumped into me like although the top like i don't like her and she did what she did in the moment, she didn't do shit to me because it was her little sister, the one that touched me. It wasn't the tall one. So I was going for the girl that touched me, right? So I went up to her, but they were obviously both together. And then I said something. What did I say? So yeah, she's looking at me crazy. And then she's all like, you were in my way. Da -da 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 like she just talks so in Layla. Like at this point, I'm like, oh my God, like shut up, like. Just shut up. I'm gonna replay the video just so you guys could hear it. The wind. <laughs> My cousin That was that. I was like, so you want to be bumping into me and shit? Like, why the fuck are you bumping into me? This, this, and that. Something around those lines. And then she was all like, because you was in my way. Because you was in my way. Talking all stupid. Like, just Lela vibes or something like that. I don't know. I'm like, don't know. Don't care. And it got me even more mad that she said that I was in her way. Because, bruh, like I said before, I was even trying to avoid them. And I even did the most to move to the side. To not even, like, be near them or, like touch them or nothing and that shit still happened so obviously you purposely like tried to get near me to provoke me you know what i mean like you know what you were doing and i know both of those girls are sitting down right now watching this shit and everything that i'm saying you guys know that shit's true you guys did that shit to provoke me because i was alone and you guys are mad for some reason and i don't understand why because at the end of the day i didn't do shit to none of them the big girl, Agatha, was my fucking friend at one point. We were like literally this, right? She got with my fucking man, knowing that was my man. Girl, you hurt me. Like, you hurt me. It hurt. I never did shit to you. Never. There's not one thing that you could say or come out with that I did to you because I was not a fucked up friend whatsoever. Now, the other little girl that actually fucking touched me, I don't know what the fuck is going on in her mind. Maybe because her sister didn't like me, so she thought it was funny or, like, you have no business doing that, literally. Girls just want to make themselves look dumb because at the end of the day, I didn't do shit to no one. Like, I literally didn't do shit to no one. I would understand if maybe I was the homewrecker or I was the fucked up one or I was the one talking shit, but I never did that. But as I was saying, it got me hella mad that the girl said that I was in her way because I literally wasn't. I was trying to fucking avoid shit. Like, I was just trying to avoid the whole situation that was leading up. Because at that time, like, obviously nothing happened, right? When I was, like, avoiding being near them. Yeah, back to what I was saying. Once she said that, I don't know what, but that shit just got me so mad. And she kept repeating herself. I forgot what specifically she said. I'm gonna go back and listen to it because... I don't know what triggered me to actually throw the coffee itself. Because I knew I was going to throw it. I just didn't know at what moment. But something came out of her mouth. And I just threw that shit. Oh. Like, obviously, she gasped and was like, what the fuck? Like, didn't know what to do in the moment. And she, like, paused for a second. And that's when the hall monitor literally saw everything. Even before it happened, the hall monitor was, like, right there looking at what I was going to do, bruh. But I'm pretty sure he was just all up in the cheese, man. 
Like, at this point, boo, I'm not even mad at you. Like, he didn't even stop me, to be honest. But he eventually got her. So, yeah, when I threw the fucking coffee, um, she, like, gasped and paused for a bit. And as soon as, like, she was, like, gonna hit me, the hall monitor grabbed her. And then that's when her sister fucking, I don't know what she did. She has some long ass hands she literally like put one foot down and like grabbed me or tried to because then i went like that and like i like moved and then fucking eventually she all grabbed my pelo so yeah the hall monitor had the little one and then the big sister ended up grabbing me from my hair and then i was like what the f like bitch stop pulling hair like she would not let go of my fucking hair dude and i'm gonna say this shit right here I just know she was trying to drag me. Like, dude, she was trying to drag me so bad. Like, oh my God. Like, dude, she would not let go of my fucking precious hair. She would not fucking let go. I was like, damn, bitch. This is when the weight gain comes in handy. I'm fucking heavy, so this bitch could not drop me, right? Like, she was trying really fucking hard. Like, she was really trying to drag me, but she really could not drop me because, bitch, I'm fucking heavy. Like, what can I say? So as she was fucking grabbing my hair, she grabs her fucking phone, and, like, with the corner of her phone, she literally starts hitting my fucking head. Like, my forehead. Like, she starts fucking hitting it. Like, literally hitting and hitting and hitting it right and her sister the one that i threw the coffee at she grabs a fucking hydro flask and throws that shit at me to try and hit me and then that's when fucking chewy gets in it and the fucking hydro flask hits chewy because chewy saw that that shit was gonna hit me and he was like fucking trying to block me like literally if chewy didn't block me like from getting hit that hydro was gonna fucking hit my eye terribly like I, oh my fucking god, like, that shit was so fucking bad, like, the hall monitors come, all of that, like, everyone's coming to try and stop it, Chewie is trying to get her off of me, cause dude, this bitch is tall, like, for reference, she could be on the fucking Warriors team, that should just tell you enough, okay, all jokes aside, like, she's fucking tall, no, I'm not trying to say, like, oh my god, I'm short, because I'm not that short, I'm literally 5'3", so I don't think I'm short, but I don't think I'm tall, like, I think I'm, like, mid, but she's, like, damn, like, ugh, right? And then my other story time that I made years ago about the first time that, like, I got in a fight and everything, I admitted to losing because I was on the ground and everything, but genuinely, I don't think I lost this fight, and people could say what they want to say, but I was not bleeding, I did not get dropped, I was not on the floor, like, none of that, so... Personally, I don't think I got my ass beat because hands were being thrown from both perspectives. That's what I think. Obviously, like most bitches are very close minded and will just fucking say what they want to say to make themselves look good. But I'm a real ass bitch and I must be straight up. She really could have because she's big. She really could have. I'm not going to lie. The hall monitors end up coming. They try to break both of us apart. And she's not letting go of my hair, so I'm not letting go of her hair. Like, how the f*** are you gonna keep pulling my hair and expect me not to pull your hair? So she was like, let go of my fucking hair, da 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 And I think she was, like, telling Trey to get off of her, but Trey was just trying to fucking pull her off. Like, obviously Trey's not gonna fucking throw hands. But if he has to, he will. Like, what? And then after, like, I was just, like, screaming. I was like, bitch, like, tell your little sister, don't you ever think you could embarrass me? Oh, because I forgot to mention, at that time, they had already took the sister inside of the office when everything was happening because the sister, like, kept trying to jump in. But obviously, like, they weren't letting her because the um, hall monitor already had her. Now, this is where this shit gets really funny to me. Once they pull us off of each other, Agatha starts yelling like crazy. Like, literally yelling like crazy. She's all like, bitch, I'm a this bitch in the head. Da -da 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 -da. Like... She was just, like, trying to threaten me. And I was just like, bro, like, shut up. Like, we already fought. Like, what are you doing? Just stop it at this point. And honestly, I don't blame her for jumping in. Because, obviously, the hall monitor was holding her sister back. And if my sister was in that position, like, I would do the same for my sister. So, I'm not even talking shit about her fighting me because of her sister. Like, I get it. Do what you gotta do. But it's the fact that people think that we fought because of a guy when it wasn't like that. It was because... I threw coffee at her sister and she was fucking mad. So obviously she got in it. That's it. And even then, like, I could talk the shit that I want saying like, oh, why did she find me and not her sister? But like I said, I have common sense. Like, 
I don't have a close fucking brain and I think and I know what's right from wrong and I know that I will if I was in that position and my little sister got fucking coffee thrown at her I would get into it and fucking slap the fuck out of the bitch that did it right I didn't get slapped but you know what I'm trying to say BB anyways that was that she kept screaming saying that she wanted to me that she was gonna sh in the head like like literally this shit was so uncalled for but you did all that for this like what now who's soaking wet smelling like fucking starbucks like what this literally happened right in front of the counselor's department and right in front of pbis which is like the office are late you go get your little tardy slip there like all that shit right basically in front of the office like the main office is on the other side but that's still a part of the office where the blinds are fucking open and the counselors are there. Everyone is there. So yeah, they end up taking her to the office like through the other way or something like that. And then I just hear like some chihuahua barking. I, I hear something in the back of my ear. And it was veneers and she was in the office. Like I said earlier, they had already took her because she was like trying to get in it. So they had already took her. And then I just hear her like screaming and crying. And then I was like, what the fuck? So then I like go where I hear the noise and she's like inside of a room inside of the office. And she's on the phone like crying. And then she's like telling her mom, she's all like, mom, I swear to God, I'm gonna beat this up. Da -da 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 -da. And then I like peek my head through the door. And then I'm like, girl, do it then. I was like, you had your chance and you didn't like do it. I was so mad like literally i was so mad i was like girl do it then like what the have your chance to run your ones like do it girl like do it all right that shit was funny <laughs> and the fucking the hall monitors like i'm cool with all of them so they end up seeing me like tell her that i'm like do it then like bitch beat my ass then like you have your chance and they literally just fucking shut the door they're like just stop it like leave this shit alone no 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 like they were just tired of it too. I was like, fuck, I guess. Like, And then the assistant principal, or I don't know who. It was a lady. I think they said it was the assistant principal, but to be honest, I never talked to her. So I can't really say much, but she ends up telling me, she's like, can you go to the room? So they put me in another room, and then they do the whole fucking little boring thing where you have to like write a statement and like, do all that fucking shit like if we're in middle school like bro we just threw hands and like that's all you have to know why do you have to go into details on what happened this this and that like literally just stop because at the end of the day you, everyone is still gonna get suspended so what the fuck is the whole point of that but anyways i end up doing that and i'm just like in the room by myself and then that's when one of the office ladies comes in me and her are like this i'm not gonna say her name because i don't i don't know okay i don't want to say anybody's names on here we're just gonna call her abuelita I know it's Abuelita, but Abuelita reminds me of from on my block because Jamal and Abuelita were like this and he would call her Abuelita. I don't fucking know why I make this shit up in my head. It's like I fucking had it planned and shit, huh? But Abuelita walks in and she's like, ay, mija. She's all like, you really got in a fight? And she was surprised because, guys, like I said, I'm not the type to get into any problems at school. Like, I, I just would go to school, mind my business, did what I have to do and buy it. Like, I wasn't even there half of the time. Like, my attendance was complete dog shit my senior year. She was surprised, like, girl, what the fuck? Like, why are you getting in a fight? So whatever, I'm in the office, and she's like, yeah, like, I already called your mom. Like, the assistant principal made me call her, and I told her everything. And I was like, oh, my God, I totally forgot the they fucking call our parents still. Like, oh, shit. So, yeah, she ended up, I guess, calling my mom and, like, explaining to her and my mom was like already on her way to the school and i didn't even fucking know i was like oh my gosh she's about to yell at me but at that point like i wasn't even scared of my mom i was just like bro like honestly i had my reasons as to why i did what i did and regardless of what anyone tells me like i really fucking don't care like i'm not gonna let myself get disrespected nor touched and that's it like i just kept repeating myself i never ever ever got in fights one because i found that shit embarrassing once you enter high school like bruh don't be doing that shit like you're too grown and two because i was fucking scared of my mom like i'm not even gonna lie most of the time i wouldn't get into nothing because i knew that parents would get involved and my mom is scary like i just rather fucking not like do what you want to do but just don't fucking call my mom at that time i was just like bruh i don't give a fuck. like literally i don't care like i really didn't care anymore like I don't know what the fuck I was on. Them calling my mom, just, I 
didn't care. Like, I literally could care less. And anyone that knows me knows that that's crazy because, oh my fucking God. I have always been so fucking scared of my mom, like, my entire life. It's not that she's, like, mean or, like, nothing. Well, she is mean. She's very strict. Or was. Because now she's, like, hella chill. Like, girl, that's bestie for real. But back then, like, girl, she would beat my ass if I were to get into anything, like, literally so i was just very scared i was like oh my god but that day i wasn't i was like girl i really don't give a fuck like i had my reasons if she wants to get mad at me and fucking beat my ass then here we go but yeah my mom ends up fucking walking into the room that i was in and she's like ¿Qué pasó? Da -da -da -da. like she just starts yelling and i was like Mom, I was like, before you even tell me anything, like, I'm just letting you know, like, you have no right to be mad at me. Like, I defended myself, and that's it. So, please don't even start yelling yelling at me. None of that, because this never fucking happens. They've only called you once from my school, letting you know that I got in a fight, and that was years ago in middle school. So, please, like, don't even start yelling at me right now, because I just don't want to hear it. Like, I literally told her, like, I had my reasons, and just listen, please. And then Abuelita, the lady from the office that I'm like hella cool with, she was there. She's like, mm hmm. She's like, si, nunca, ella nunca se mete en problemas. Like, nunca, por eso estoy así como que, por qué? She was all backing me up. Thank you, Abuelita. You're a real one, girly. By the way, I know she's probably watching this hella laughing. And I'm not saying Abuelita because you're old, because you're not old, girl. You know damn well you're young, getting turned, getting lit, duh. But there's this show called On My Block, like I said earlier. And. This one character named Jamal has, like, a really close friendship with Abuelita. And that reminds me of me and you because we're, like, you know, just vibes, girl. Now, I didn't mention this before, but I'm going to mention it now just so you guys can fucking know. This was the first time that the girls ever, like, touched me. But it is not the first time. Say something under their breath. Look at me. Mean mug me. Do things to try and get me mad. They would always do it. When I was alone. But never when I was with my cousins. Literally never, never, never did they ever do anything weird to try and provoke me when I was with my cousins. It was always when I was alone. I would be walking somewhere like on my own to another class or something when my cousins weren't with me. And they would just look at me weird. Say shit under their breath. Like little things. Just being fucking mad and miserable. Like, what the fuck is that gonna do for you? Like, literally nothing, bruh. But to cut this shit a little shorter, even though it's already fucking long, basically, we all got suspended. The three of us got suspended for, like, three to four days or something like that. I don't really remember, but we got suspended. And the principal wanted to fucking do, like, a meeting or something like that. So we could, like, talk it out. And my mom was like, what the fuck? Like, that's bullshit. Like, what are they gonna talk out? Like... Obviously, it's clear that both of them, or the three of them, don't like each other, are not going to respect each other, and don't want to talk to each other. Like, that's it. Like, they fought. Leave it at that. Like, why do they need to talk? That shit was crazy, and if I'm being honest, if I could go back and change what I did, I would, but I wouldn't. Like, in a way, yeah, like, I came to terms that... It wasn't okay and I could have reacted a different way. I could have dealt with the situation way differently than what I did. But I'm human and I let my anger get the best of me and that's that. And everyone's different. Some people fucking, I guess, let themselves get disrespected and shit. But I just don't. Like, I just, I really don't. And yeah, of course, like I said before, yeah, I could have dealt with it way differently. But honestly, I was just really fed up and I just... Don't like being disrespected. Like I said before, I don't like being disrespected. I don't like being touched. It's so fucking crazy because I never thought I was actually going to make a story time on it. Because I always told myself, I was like, uh, I don't know if I want to make another fight story time because that just, I'm going to look too problematic. But, hey, that's why it's a story time. So you guys can know the real reasons as to why shit happened, all right? And honestly, I can confidently say that I've grown so much as a person from when that shit happened to now. We're human, shit happens, we grow from stuff, we learn from it, like, literally everything you go through is a lesson, and that shit was a lesson for me. Like, what else is there to say? This shit is just all crazy to me, and at the end of the day, like, bitch, just be kind to others, and people will be kind to you. Like, literally, when I see people doing better than me, I use that as motivation. Like, that shit makes me happy. Like, it makes me think, like, 
fuck, one day, like, I'm going to get here. Like, one day I'm going to achieve this. One day I'm going to do this. Like, I look at it in a good way, not in a way where it's like, why can this person do this and I can't? Like, bitch, you really can. Like, you can get all of this. You can do all of that. Just work for it. Stay in your own lane. Move at your own pace. Do what you got to do in your way. You're literally your own person. That's it. Like, you're not going to be a copy and paste of someone else. As much as you try, bitch, like, you're your own person and you're not going to be someone else as much as you want to. You're not. Everyone has shit differently. Literally. That's the way that I look at things. I never look at anybody else's success in a bad way because what the fuck? We all work our way to the top. We can all get it. As long as you're determined... Bitch, just manifest an amazing life for yourself. Keep yourself surrounded with good people. People that are hardworking. People that are as money hungry as you are. In a good way. Like, and trust me, you're going to achieve so much like that. But yeah, guys, I just really hope this shit was entertaining. Because it was fucking crazy to me at the moment when it happened. But I also hope you guys learned from it and from the little things that I was saying. Because no one wants to look embarrassing out here. No one wants to fucking look like that. At all. And I've said this shit before and I'll say it again. You're really not going to get anywhere in life if you're a bitter bitch. Like, you're really not, bruh. Like, be happy. Like, get up and radiate good energy. Like, that negative ass energy is really not going to get you fucking nowhere. The more negative energy you have, the more negative energy that is going to be around you. You're going to be surrounded by negative people because you're also negative and you're going to feed that energy onto others. And that shit is just not fair. I'm not allowing no one with negative or fucked up ass energy near me. For what? Like, that shit is not going to benefit me whatsoever. I understand everyone deals with shit differently. Everyone goes through things. Just because you're dealing with something does not mean that you have to take that shit out on someone else. It... It's just not a fucking excuse to be a shitty person. Literally. It's not. And I hope you guys listen to that and take that into consideration. Because I know a lot of you guys are dealing with shitty ass fucking boys that probably treat you guys like shit. And use this as an excuse. Like, oh my god, it's because I'm going through this. Or it's because of my past this. It's because nothing. You're going through what you're going through. You went through what you went through. But that does not give you the right to treat me the way that you're treating me. Literally, it does not give you the right. We deserve so much better, okay? Like, just know that. Just know that you deserve the world, girl. You deserve it and you're gonna get it. Just don't be dumb, all right? Like, literally have common sense. So besties, that was basically my little story time. I finished getting ready. It doesn't really look like I fucking did much because I have no lashes on. No extensions, no falsies, no nothing. Yeah, that is a little story time that everyone has been waiting for. I know everyone is going to go crazy once they see this video, but it's a story time. Shit already happened. It is what it is. You really cannot go back in time and change shit. The past is the past for a reason, bitch. We're moving to the present. So do what you got to do in order to do what you got to do. Shit happens, life goes on, and it is what it is. I really appreciate you guys, and it would really help me out so much if you guys could like this video and leave a comment down below. Share this shit to your bestie, to your fucking baby mama, your BD, your sister, your cousin. Whoever you got to share it to, just let them know that I got, I got tea to spill.